The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, is reviewing the approval of 12 exchange-traded funds ETFs, for the cryptocurrency Bitcoin on the Nasdaq. Among them are two requested by BlackRock and Franklin Templeton, two of the world's largest asset managers. The authority delayed the resolution on the approval of three ETF applications in recent days, including one from Franklin Templeton, extending the deadlines until 2024. The SEC has three deadlines for each applicant to announce its decision on whether to allow them to be listed on the electronic market, the Nasdaq on Wall Street. The U.S. regulator has set a deadline of March 15 next year to authorize the BlackRock ETF, the world's largest asset manager, according to the SEC schedule. The instrument requested by Franklin Templeton has a review date of January 1, 2024, according to the authority's schedule. In October and November of the past year, two of the deadlines set by the authority expired for approving some of the applicants for this instrument that could lead to the widespread use of the world's most famous cryptocurrency. On November 17, the ETF applications from Hashdex and Franklin had their first deadline, and Global X Bitcoin Trust had its deadline on November 21 of the current year. According to Cointelegraph, BlackRock's fund was included in the Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation. DTCC, a Nasdaq clearing firm, a step before its arrival on the New York electronic market, Nasdaq. Nine of the companies seeking to list an ETF in New York have deadlines in the first month of the coming year, including Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, ARC21 Shares Bitcoin, iShares Bitcoin Trust, Bitwise Bitcoin ETP Trust, VanEdge Bitcoin Trust, Wisdom Tree Bitcoin Trust, Invesco Galaxy Bitcoin ETF, Wise Origin Bitcoin Trust, and Valkyrie Bitcoin Fund. Meanwhile, Global X Bitcoin Trust, Hashdex Bitcoin ETF, and Franklin, Templeton, Bitcoin ETF will have another opportunity starting in February and March next year. All applicants will have a deadline for the approval of their requests to list Bitcoin on Wall Street before May of the next year, except for Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, which has already had its four deadlines and has not been approved, the last one in mid-June 2022. Mike Belsch, CEO of BitGo, a digital asset custody company based in the United States with operations in Latin America, recently commented to Bloomberg that progress has been made in the discussions between ETF applicants and the SEC. However, there is bad news, as there may be a rejection of the applications due to market structure, exchange roles, and asset custody concerns that worry the authority. Scandal after scandal cryptocurrency exchange companies such as FTX or Binance went bankrupt or were sanctioned by the authority for misconduct, increasing regulators' skepticism about approving ETFs. In November 2022, FTX, which was once seen as the most stable and successful company in the cryptocurrency industry, declared bankruptcy, causing billions of dollars in losses for its customers. Nearly a year after the platform's collapse, its owner and founder, Sam Bankman-Fried (SBF), was found guilty on November 2 of stealing billions from FTX customers. Bankman Fried was guilty of diverting money from FTX to pay off his sister company's debts, also founded by SBF, Alameda Research, make risky investments, buy properties, and even make donations to politicians. He did all this with the resources of FTX customers, lenders, and investors. Bankman Fried's sentencing will be announced on March 28, 2024, according to international portals. In addition to the FTX scandal, Binance was fined $4.3 billion in November by the U.S. Department of Justice for violating anti-money laundering rules.